are gonna wanna watch this video till the very end. The search is over. This the is little the most extreme I've ever seen of Internet this kind so of But her eyes are on John. John. A pal part of the rescue. So this new addition to the Gatorland family has been on the news everywhere. So what do you think, Dr. Bogan? Wow. Hi, beautiful. <laughs> How do you even breathe? Yeah, you know, alligators have a, a sinus usually right here that's connect and they breathe through their nose that hole your There skin. it is. Yeah, that's the normal hole that goes up into the sinus and this is all healed over. So I would expect her to breathe through nostrils here, which obviously are missing. This here is what would connect to that, and that hole would come up to there. You are thin though, wow. Very skinny. So other than the face, how does she look? Very malnourished, underweight. That's a lot going against her, being that thin. You gotta come back from a lot. I've seen alligators come back from way bigger injuries than this. And this little girl's got a lot of fight in her, and I think she's gonna be fine. What do you think, girly? I think it'll be okay. You're not wild, right? Yeah, she came out of the wild. She got to us on Friday and they trapped her on Thursday. Amazing. This all healed over. Oh! <laughs> it's still scary. Don't get yeah. hit. Yeah. You get scratched, I guess. No. You get half bit. She sit still and try to get her whole body weight on me. Okay, girl. Is that a lot or a little? That's a little. You got the front there. Yep. There we go. Now back here, we're at 49 inches. It's crazy how strong alligators are and how resilient alligators are. From the from the wound, what do you think may have happened? Uh, who knows, some sort of sharp cut. Yeah, another alligator, bigger alligator biting across there. You would think that this would have gone with it. So you see that line here and a line here. Oh, yeah. So, right in line, whatever chopped it. So, what's the prognosis, Doc? I'd say, Garter, we're behind the eight ball already with her being so thin. He is going to have a steep hill to climb to get her to put the weight back on. I mean, we could tube feed her, you know, assist feed. We'll try some assist feeding first. We may have to switch to tube feeding. But long term, that's not a goal. We have to get her to learn how to eat on her own. Okay, Dr. B, we got some red meat here. Capelin, this is meatball mix, so it's basically crock chow mixed up with chicken and other meats, and then a regular piece of chicken. Whatever you think is best. Oh, look at that. Some yum yum in there. You got it, girl. Follow it up. And she's healed this far, so fingers crossed. All right, we are gonna keep you guys updated on this alligator and we are still asking for name requests. We've had a lot of great name requests. We had Hope, which is what I have for this alligator. We have uh, Gumdrop and someone suggested uh, via CNN News, um, Jolene. Like the Dolly Parton song, Jolene. That's perfect. That's a good one, right? Uh, so if you guys want to post your name suggestions in the comments below, and Dr. B, what do you think is going to happen with this alligator in your professional opinion? I've got a lot of optimism, you know, hopefully that um, she'll start to learn how to eat on her own this way and put some weight on her. Now she's in, a, in an environment where she's not having to compete with wild alligators. Um, maybe she'll get the TLC she needs, but long, steep road ahead of her, and that degree of malnutrition, it's going to be tricky to get over it, but we have hope. We have hope. Check back next week and we'll give you guys an update. Thanks, Dr. B. Yep. You're the best. <laughs>